Uh. So if y'all memorize that, we get we're gonna take volunteers and get up and dance the same thing. So, <laughs> uh, just real quick um, announcements. Of course, fry bread is uh, Thursday, the December twenty first. We'll be back up with another fry bread. Please come and join us with that. That's uh, an incredible blessing. It's a blast, and it's just a good time to serve, fellowship, and uh, grow in the Lord. So. Um, we have our angel tree wrapping party, if you want to call it a party, but we're getting together and wrapping presents uh, the 20th, this Wednesday at 5.30. So please come down and join us. We're going to wrap some presents. Uh, and then also, uh, Christmas Eve, we're going to Big Sky Baptist for their uh, Christmas Eve service. So please come join us for that. We're going we're gonna to invade Pastor Dave's place, so no worries. You ready for that? <laughs> Are you sure? We're ready. So, no, please come and join us. So we won't uh, have a service here uh, that evening. We're all going to converge on the Big Sky Baptist. So, also this Wednesday, there's no youth. Everybody hear that one? No youth on Wednesday night. Um... And that's about it, really, so can't think of anything else I had here. Um, what's that? Yeah, there'll be sign class still Wednesday, so we, we should be done with the wrapping um, by 6.30, hopefully, unless you're a slow rapper. I don't know if there's such a thing, though, so all right. Want to throw up the pledge for us? All right, please join me in our set free pledge. I am part of the fellowship of the unashamed. I have Holy Spirit power. The die has been cast. I've stepped over the line. The decision has been made. I'm a disciple of Jesus. I won't look back or let up, slow down, back away, or be still. My past is redeemed, my present makes sense, my future is secure. I'm finished and done with low living, sidewalking, cheap giving, and dwarf goals. I no longer need preeminence, prosperity, permission, promotion, or popularity. I don't have to be right, recognized, praised, regarded, or recorded. I live by faith, walk by patience. My face is set, my gate is fast, my goal is heaven, my road is narrow, my way is rough, my companions are few. <clears throat> my body is reliable, my mission is clear. I cannot be bought, compromised, detoured, hired away, turned back, deluded, or delayed. I will not flinch in the face of sacrifice or hesitate in the presence of the enemy. Not give up, shut up, let up till I've stayed up, prayed up. I give till I drop, preach till all I know, and work till he stops me. And when he comes, my banner will be clear. Amen. <clears throat> I needed to stop and take a drink. <clears throat> So, uh, just really quick before we take up tonight's offering, uh, the ASL class will be coming up. We're going to do a song right after the offering. Um, it's Emmanuel. And just to uh, kind of show you what's going on there, what's Emmanuel, what's Emmanuel mean? God with us, right? So they're going to be uh, doing that over and over. And if you want to join them as they do that, feel free. Uh, it's just God. Everyone want to do that one? God. And then this is with, and then us. So that's the majority of the song, so please uh, feel free. It's kind of our worship this evening. So um, <clears throat> something else I wanted to show you real quick. Uh, we're not going to start it uh, for a couple weeks. We're going to be starting Killing Kryptonite. Um, it's a very awesome study. And we've been kind of rolling through a few studies that... Uh, are really coming together as far as, um, one, it's the things that are maybe limiting us from the presence of the Lord to the fullest. Uh, but not only that, 
it, you know, it's a lot of, uh, you know, self-examination, trying to find and seek the Lord with all of our heart, getting to know Him better. But I look at all those study, studies as just, just a way to tune us up to go out and witness and reach people. Because there's nobody out there, like I've told you before, that everyone has walked through a fence. We've had issues with a fence. Um, as far as the study, not really understanding the grace of God, the power that's in that grace, and how we can walk through anything that's been done to us or that we've done through His grace. And then this killing kryptonite is going to kind of cap some of that off a little bit and just get us to, get us linked up. Not only as a fellowship and a body, uh, but just knowing and understanding the things that is keeping us from that, just that fullness and enjoying His presence all the time and all we do. Um, so I'm going to show you something really quick. Um, this kind of comes out of the killing kryptonite, but this was uh, kind of two or three things brought together. We're going to have a sign class lesson tonight. Are you ready? So one of the things I'm going to pursue this next year is I want to speak life. I want to speak truth. And I want to speak love. And that's really easy to sign. So it's just I want to speak life. Just a little L right here. L. I want to speak truth. That's on your hand right here. And I want to speak love. Now the thing that we're going to learn out of this killing kryptonite, it's not my life, it's not my truth, it's not my love, it's God's love. And that's going to be what we're going to learn. So if you'd bow your heads with me, I think I'm done. <laughs> I kind of added something in there. So, so if you just bow your heads with me, we're going to bring in tonight's offering. And then the uh, sign class will get up and... Uh, Bless us. So, Father God, Lord, we truly thank you for this evening. Father God, we, and I say this all the time, Lord, but I just truly love this place that we call Set Free. And Father God, I just pray that we acknowledge always that it's just not just a name, but it is a way of life, living and knowing you, and that you are alive in us. So, Father God, Lord, just bless this evening. We just love these kids. We just thank you for all they're doing in the ministry. Father God, may your power, your grace, your mercy just flow through all of us this evening. As we give, as we serve, and we love on each other. And it's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Yeah. 
revealed in us His name is called Emmanuel 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 His name
An angel came to Mary and said, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One will be born, will be called the Son of God. Mary, your word, may your word to me be fulfilled, Mary answered. Then the angel left her. Then an angel appeared to Joseph. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that census should be taken of the entire Roman world. Everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went to there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in claws and placed him in a manger because there are no guest rooms available for them. i
we have a surprise tonight as well. We have a new song to add tonight. shepherds laying out and living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to the, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news, and that will cause great joy for all the people. Town, today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will you will find a baby wrapped in cloths and laying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those to whom his favor rests. The shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing, this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word con concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all the things and pounded them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judah, Judah, during the time of King Herod, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who had been born king of the Jews? He, we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. And the star they had seen, the star, the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. They saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their, tre their treasures and pre presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Very good. Now at this time, woo, I'm louder than she is. I'd like to just remind you all, if you're going to take any pictures, to make sure to go to your settings and hit absolutely no flash whatsoever so we don't blind them.
giving ourselves to the Lord. You're the gift. Jesus doesn't care if you're rich or poor. He's pleased when you give your gifts to praise the Lord. It doesn't have to be impressive to anybody else. Let's just give him what we've got. Give him all of ourselves. Let's go. Is that better? Ooh. I could have just talked louder, but if you want to give me a mic, this means I might have to stay up here. <laughs> just, that, just that one small gift that God gave us, all of us, it was, it's free for the taking. Just like all the gifts that God has for us, they're free for the taking. But we have to take them by faith. And the only way we can know that Jesus is a gift is to hear that He is the Lord. So our job is this season, obviously to bless our children, to bless one another with all these beautiful gifts that we give, but remembering that most precious gift that God gave all of us, and to plant that same seed in everyone else that is around us. And that's that one gift that God gave freely, and that's His Son, Jesus. So let's just remember that this season. As we bless our children, let's just bless others as well around us. It doesn't have to be gifts of cars, even though we love blessing our kids. Gifts of money, whatever gift it might be temporal, let's give the eternal gift of Jesus. Amen? Gina has a few things that she wants to hand out as well. Okay. So I think I would like, kids behind stage, can you come out here for me? Because they literally make me tear up. I'm so proud of them. Can you give them a round? And as you can see, we have, a, we have a little bit of a new crew this year. So we've got a lot of newbies, as we call them. And I'm so proud of them because they have just like jumped right in. And sometimes you can't even tell the veterans from the newbies. So I'm very proud of you guys. You're doing an amazing job. So I know that they are very appreciative of the help that we have as well. And I would like, I'm not going to, I don't want to embarrass you, but I really want to honor all those that help us with the kids. We couldn't do what we do if it wasn't for you. Sorry. I've seen over 500 kids come through since we moved into this building. And Marshall and I, that's not us, that's God. And that's you. And those of you that help, even when you don't want to, when you'd rather be out here listening to Pastor JT or, you know, downstairs helping, and you still give of your time and your love to these kids. And that's exactly what you do, is you're teaching them and you're loving them and you're inspiring them in ways you have no idea of. So with that, 
I would like to call some of you down. Sorry to embarrass you, but Sharon, if you guys can just, I want to, seriously, like a kid, I want you to line up because I want everybody to honor you today. So I'd like Sharon and Denise, Ruby, Terry, Stacy, Shirley, our new veteran in the nursery. Tracy isn't here tonight. Miranda, who is in, she does an amazing job in our preschool, running it for us. Roseanne, Mary, who helps out in preschool. Emily Russell, who I don't think is here tonight. And I could not do anything without Morgan. So Morgan, can you please come up here too? You all are worth so much more than this, but this is literally made from our heart. And we thank you for everything that you guys do for us and for the kids. Those babies, if it wasn't for you guys in there praying over their little souls, imagine how much of those prayers go home to the families and the families that are healed and restored and touched because of you guys. So we just thank you so very much. Thank you. So you guys can stay right there. And we can have the other kids. Do you guys want to come on up? You can go as, why don't we do around the steps again? And of course, we're going to ask everybody to participate in this. How many of you have been to Set Free for longer than a year? All right, so you know our joy song, because we end every Christmas program with joy. So we expect everybody to be up and singing and praising our Jesus with us. I'll do the actions from back here. J to the O to the Y. I got the J to the O to the Y. J to the O to the Y. I got the J to the O to the Y. I got the J. Uh -huh. That this little bitty child came to see 
nation's proof the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders of his love Take a bow. Take a bow. All right, y'all might have a seat. Didn't they do awesome this year? No. What? No. Let's be careful. Sorry. Do you want to pray us out? I just want to remind everybody that tomorrow is the Children's, the Kids Club Christmas, pro, or Christmas party, excuse me. It is at Wheels of Thunder at 5 to 9 tomorrow. So any of you with children, you may come. It is free for all of you to enjoy and have fun as a family and have fun as a set-free family. So if you want to come, it would be nice if you give me a call and let me know. But we'll take surprises as well. Any parents or grandparents that want to come and bring cookies, that would be awesome too. We are going to supply cookies so that way we don't have to have the food stand open. So you are all invited. Thank you so very much and have a Merry Christmas. Cowboy, do you have anything else you'd like to say? No, oh, amen. Well, we'll just close out in prayer. Father God, we just thank you so much for these children. We thank you for the blessing upon their lives, the calling on each and every one of their lives. Father God, I just plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us here, Lord, that you bring joy into our lives. You bring happiness into our lives. Most importantly, you have brought that gift 2,000 years ago for all of us to receive. And we receive that now deep down in our hearts, Lord, that you bring his his joy in our hearts this season, Father. And we just want to give you all the glory and praise for him. And most importantly, we're going to celebrate this Christmas with a capital C, and that's Christ. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. Amen.